Hi, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator and in this episode I'm going to show you how I make something which is a complete 3D object with my laser engraver and well, uh, let me show you how I do this and uh, for the software, well, I'm using Lightburn software as you can see in the background of me. So let's take a deep dive in how I created this object. So here we got the Lightburn software, uh, which is on my Apple Mac. And over here, uh, we've got the art library. And in my art library, I've got things that I downloaded from the internet, like SVG files, for example. And one of those SVG files is this file that you can see here. And let me make it a little bit bigger for you. Now, as you can see, this is a file that is already uh, grouped. So multiple lines are already grouped into one object. And for this, I don't want that. So what I can do here is click on the single person upstairs and well, this ungroups the file. So now I've got this line that I can select or I can select this line or well, this, whatever I want. Uh, so now it's very easy to create those outlines by just selecting this one, for example, and put that in another uh, layer. Or I can delete things like, uh, for example, this knob. If I don't want it, well, I can just delete it. So this is how we can get uh, the things apart from each other. Now you can also select multiple copies by going here and clicking the shift button and clicking the second object. So I first clicked this line and then while holding the shift button, I took the other one. And this is also for the PC where it's also the shift button. So this way I can create duplicates and well, to create a duplicate, we can go here into edit. And here we see that duplicate is the apple key and a D, so, uh, or control D. So now I can create a duplicate by just doing this and moving it down. So I can do whatever I like with these duplicates. Now I'm deleting this because I already have everything set up down here. Um, and for this file, I want to go in depth by having uh, two outlines which I can glue together, which one will be the front and one will be the back because they're identical in size. And three lens files, which I have over here. So I can delete everything which I have in here. I select everything and delete it. And now I can show you how it will look like in the preview. So this is what I'm going to engrave. Uh, or cut because uh, the outlines will be cut and then these insides those will be engraved so I'm engraving this QR code this button this object here and this one over here and the reason I'll do this well it, it will show later on in this video so now we have this uh, well let's take a look what is going to happen when we send this to the laser? Now for the cutting part, of course, I want to use my air assist. So I started the machine without the air assist, which is no problem at all. Uh, but I'm going to turn on the air assist because, well, it's something I need. And now it's running and as you can see the smoke is burned away. So the, the smoke is now blown away by the air assist which just turned on. But which also uh, is going to give me a little bit more noise. Now I get a lot of questions from people asking me if this uh, laser engraver with this particular laser, the 5.5 watt long focus laser with the air assist if it's capable of uh, doing some, uh, uh, some, some engraving and yes it is capable but you have to know that it's not made for it it's made for cutting and therefore the engravings will be very very black now 
in this case it really doesn't matter because well you will see that later on um, I am not using it that way but it is something to know it's not made for engraving it's made for cutting and uh, it can do some engraving but it, it's not made for it and I think I don't have to explain it but always wear your eye protection always 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 wear your eye protection when working with a laser like this because well the light it's not that good for your eyes and it can blind you in an instance so always make sure to wear your eye protection now as you can see uh, something is wrong with the selected speed at which I'm making this engraving. So now I'm going to cut down this job. Something went wrong with the layers. So I have to go there and see what went wrong. And um, well, the drawing is done so that output can be, uh, output can be turned off. And then this is obviously way too fast. Let's make this 4000 and let's make this, well, maybe about 50% power. And I think that will be much, much better. Now, the good thing about this laser engraver is that it has a homing feature. And because we homed it before we started this engraving, I can simply go and do it again. Now the first, uh, the first layer is turned off, so we now start with the second layer, which is the QR code image. So I can now home the laser. Uh, first take this off, then home the laser. And then start the laser again, but I'm going to show you what happens when I do this. Now this is also a question that I got asked a lot and uh, well people just wanted to know uh, is it possible to, uh, yeah, to, to have exact measurements and to be on the exact same spot and doing an engraving over so yeah that you uh, don't get double lines etc. Well yes that is possible but only if your laser has a homing function so for example the Alfero 2 you can't do this, but with the Orter Laser Master 2 Pro, this is no problem at all. And well, this is only because this laser has its homing switches, which makes sure that every time you do a thing, it's always on the same spot. So yeah, it's possible. So now it created the QR code and then it's going to cut the camera body with that QR code on the back. So this should be working very nice and uh, well I should be able to read the QR code with a phone or whatever uh, when reading the back of that camera.
So now the first part is cut out and we can already take it out if we want to without moving the object. Well, it seems that it, yeah, it can. It can be taken out. But it's glued together, so, well, we just wait a minute. Now, if you are interested, this is what we are making at this moment. So, we are now cutting uh, the lenses, which are going to be glued. And, well, this is the object we are making. So, it's a nice little camera. And uh, it's got a lens in it. And the lens is black on the inside, because that's what we engraved. Uh, so, it just looks like as if you are looking into a real lens. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of like this design. So, this is what we are making. So, now all the parts have been cut out, I can simply remove them like this. It's just that easy to take them out. And as you can see also the centers, well, they just pop out immediately. So yeah. This is it. And now it's time to take off the glasses and sit in front of my blue screen. And, well, what I made are a back side of the camera and a front side of the camera. So I've got the back side, I've got the front side, and these two can be glued together. Then in front of that, I have those three rings, which are the lenses. And the back side is black and therefore I make sure that when you look inside the lenses there is a black inside. And this is what I like because in real when you look inside the lens it's well pretty dark in there. So this is what I liked, uh, well, like to make. And uh, this QR code, well we have to protect it by spraying some uh, uh, lacquer 
on top of it and when that's done then you won't get it dirty or whatever and then the QR code will be readable so I scanned the object and well here we are on my website which is all about photography etc etc so yeah I'm pretty happy with this uh, because it really works so now I've been gluing everything together and well this is how it looks so it's a three-dimensional camera uh, with a lens on top which is all laser cut and uh, glued together and well this is a very nice thing to have hanging on my photo bag uh, because if someone finds it and scans the QR code well they will come directly at my website so yeah this is one of the things that you can do with your laser engraver and uh, well if you like this then please make sure to subscribe to this channel also make sure to like this video in particular and well uh, make sure to see the other content I'm creating about laser engraving and 3d printing and uh, if you liked the laser machine that I used well the link is in the description down below and it's an affiliate link so you also help the channel uh, if you use that link to buy your own well I'll see you around until next time bye bye